issue that hit the field. That is not the reason why. Uh, that has to do with a news story uh, out of Oakland about former Steelers wideout Antonio Brown and a new issue that has come up that is threatening his playing time. And it has nothing to do with his feet. It has to do with his head and specifically the helmet that he wants to wear. Mike Silver, what's the story? Well, Lindsay, back in the spring, the NFL eliminated the one-year grace period for helmets that had not been lab tested to a certain uh, head safety standard. And that meant that 32 players, including Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, would have to switch to a newer model that fell within those guidelines. Antonio Brown's helmet that he's worn his whole career is more than 10 years old, so it can't be recertified. He, too, was told he'd have to switch. When he showed up for the first day of Phase 3 OTAs in May, he went crazy when they wouldn't give him his old helmet and stormed out of the facility. Twice later, he tried to sneak back his old helmet, which had been, since been repainted in colors that kind of approximated the Raiders' helmet design and was told, no, you cannot have this out on the field or the organization could get in trouble. This happened most recently in training camp where he only appeared for two practices before he went to seek another medical opinion on his injured feet. That's a whole other story. But Raider officials are now concerned, and based on what he has been telling players, believe that one of the reasons he has since stayed away from training camp for several days now is that he is very upset about this helmet issue. And the whole thing has uh, created a disconnect with Raiders coaches and officials wondering is this salvageable? Are we going to be able to get our star trade acquisition in the fold, feeling okay about his headgear and obviously able to run? Is this salvageable? There's some question as to whether or not it might be. Well, he's not doing a great job of communicating with his bosses. He left to get a medical opinion and has basically stayed away and is now filing a grievance over the helmet situation. And uh, there are some overtones that... He's not going to play unless he gets his way on the helmet. Uh, you know, obviously these things can change and are fluid, but this is not the start the Raiders envisioned uh, with the training camp, hard knocks, and their last season in Oakland uh, with a new superstar. Thank you very much, Mike Silver. Uh, apparently a pretty serious situation. They're in uh, Napa currently where the team is going through training camp. Uh, this is James Jones. This is Michael Robinson. <laughs> Uh, this Dude. sounds kind of silly, guys. I'm going to tell you this uh, talk about not playing potentially because you don't have the helmet that you want. James, you, however, think that it uh, may be something that we should take a little bit more seriously. A.B. is my guy. And listen, I, I went through the same situation. I had the same helmet for seven straight seasons in Green Bay. They tried to get me to switch. I talked them out of it. Went to Oakland. They're like, this is the helmet you got to wear. You got to switch. Right. I didn't have a B money, so I couldn't go get my <laughs> helmet dipped and all that and painted and all that type of stuff and come out there. But at the end of the day, these new helmets for wide receivers, you got to get used to them because they mess with your vision. How? So if he's out there practicing and he looks up for the ball like this, there's a bar right there that kind of messes with your vision. You snap your head around real quick. There's a bar right there that messes with your vision. So he probably practiced with it. Doesn't like it. Now, this is a guy, high productive, does a lot of damage in the league with his old helmet, so he could be a little superstitious about the helmet. But, but, but at the end of the day, Mike Rob. Come on, man. Come on. Go come get it. a new helmet. Go get that And bread. it's time to be out there for your brothers, though. Like, everybody in this organization has been fighting for you, been telling everybody that you are this guy, you are this great guy, you this great teammate. It's time for you to repay them and go out there. I don't care if you got to wear two helmets. <laughs> you go out there and you play for your brothers, man, they need. But, James, I mean, didn't you have to get used to that initial helmet? 100%. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just about him getting used to yes, the newer helmet. Yes, I mean, it's about player safety. At, at some point, he has to understand helmets evolve, the technology yeah. evolves, and that's what, that's what, I mean, we've been having this discussion. This, to me, is a little silly. I mean, I mean, it really is. It's about a helmet, and the league has a policy that's trying to protect your brain. Yeah, I Come on, man. I still wish I could wear my hoodie, but they banned it. But they banned so it. I have to I mean, take it off. Well, you know you what, James? Know, you can. Time. Because you're with us now. So congratulations. But, yeah, he, he, listen, I understand where he's coming from. You've been in that helmet for years. It probably messing with your vision with the new helmet, but at the end of the day, it's the rules. You got to put a new helmet on and go out there and be with you. Or you're just acting out because yeah. maybe because your feet yeah. messed up and, yeah. oh, never mind, that's a whole new... 
whole nother whole nother situation. I'm just saying, man. It's a helmet, man. Yeah. You don't give up 30 million for your helmet. Oh no. If he does that, I'm going to grab A B out of whatever home he is in Florida, and we coming to practice. We ain't giving up that money. We're gonna get our first look at the Raiders without Antonio Brown tomorrow night.